Hi, I'm Fred Valles from Optimizer. So you've probably heard that exact match in Google AdWords no longer means exact match. Google does this thing called close variant matching. They've been doing it since 2014, but initially it was all about plurals, singulars, typos, function words, fairly basic transformations of what the keyword and uh, the query were. But now they've started doing matching to similar intent. And similar intent could mean a lot of things. And it's not just as clear cut as it was before what Google might be matching us to when, uh, when they show our ads. So to help you understand what this actually means for your accounts, I've written a free script that pulls all the data together from the query report and the keyword report, jams it all together into a Google spreadsheet, and it makes it really easy to see what's actually happening for your account. So let me show you how to install it. First, go to GitHub where you can get the script uh, go into the raw view so that you get rid of everything else on the page. And then you can just do uh, select all and copy. Then go into AdWords. I've already gone into the new script section. If you know, don't know where that is, type in GT in Google, and then you just type in new script and that'll bring up this box, but I've already loaded it up. So I'm gonna grab everything that's on there right now and just replace that with a paste of what I got from GitHub. And I'm gonna give this a name. Um, so evaluate close variance so that I remember what this was and I can find it back really easily later on. Now, a couple of settings in the script that you do want to take a look at, especially the email address and the account manager's email. Um, so for me, that would be frederick at optimizer.com. That means I get an email when the script is done running and that email is going to contain the link to the spreadsheet that it generated. Uh, now it generates a Google spreadsheet on my behalf. So as frederick at optimizer.com. And if I wanna make sure other people on my team have access to that, I'm also gonna to have to put in their emails in this list here. So I can just do a comma separated list. Uh, I'm telling it to make a new spreadsheet. It's gonna pull, pull in data for the query and the keyword from the last 30 days. Um, and then we, we got a couple of other options. So if you have a relatively smaller account, you probably don't need, need to change any of this, uh, but we're doing a calculation of how close the query is to the keyword. And that's the uh, Levenstein uh, function and distance that we're doing. If you have a big account, this is a heavy function. So you might want to disable that just by setting this value here to zero. But for now we can leave that turned on. And if you have a really big account and the script keeps timing out, the other thing you can do is you can say, campaign name to evaluate needs to include some text or does not include some text. So for example, um, if you wanna exclude your branded campaign, you would just type in there, don't include a campaign if it contains the text brand. So uh, if you use these options, only use one of the two last ones, they don't actually work in combination with each other, just do one of them. But I'm gonna leave that as is right now. And then at this point, you'll wanna preview this. When you preview it, Google's gonna tell you you need to authorize it. That's a very simple thing to do. You're just basically saying, hey Google, you have my permission to do a number of things on my behalf, which includes making a spreadsheet and using my email account to email the link to that spreadsheet to someone. So I'm just gonna hit allow. And now this is ready to be previewed and it's gonna go, uh, could take anywhere from a couple of minutes all the way to 30 minutes, which is the script execution time for Google AdWords and then it's gonna have a link ready. So let's go and take a look at what's in that spreadsheet. All right, so here's the spreadsheet. <clears throat> um, I've already loaded this because I didn't want us to wait a couple of minutes, of course. So, uh, but what you can do first step first is put an auto filter on this whole thing. Okay, you could also do this in Excel or uh, numbers, whatever spreadsheet program you like, but uh, by default, it brings it into Google Sheets. So what I'm curious about is what is happening with my exact match keyword. So I'm gonna look at the match type column here. I'm gonna clear everything and just look at when my keywords were specified as exact match. Uh, by default, we don't include the exact exact match. Um, uh, what that basically means is if Google showed the ad exactly for the keywords uh, or the, the, the terms in your keyword, we don't even include it here because that's basically what you asked Google to do. However, when they do a close variant, that's when we include the data because that's what you wanna know about. So uh, we have this filter here and now you can see, we basically see what the keyword is. So it's uh, our company name spelled correctly. And a lot of times when the, the query is just some somebody doing a typo. 
Here's that Levenstein distance function. Uh, so this is interesting because the bigger this number, the more different the query is, the search term is from the underlying keyword. Uh, the Levenstein function distance calculates how many characters we need to change to go from the keyword to the search term, right? So the bigger the number, the more difference between the keyword and the search term. So that might be more worth investigating. Um, I've hidden these, but these are some of the metrics. So I could also very easily say, find me scenarios where my search term has a much higher cost per click than the underlying keyword or a much higher cost per acquisition. Um, so that might be another thing to investigate where maybe you want to add a negative keyword for that. Uh, and you want to do a little bit more aggressive query management. So uh, aside from this, I can also change my match type here. So I can go and look at what is Google doing in terms of my phrase matches. So when there is a phrase match, sometimes they show my ad exactly when those words are in the query. Uh, I don't care so much about that. So I'm going to unselect it, only care about close variants. And so now again, I can see what Google is doing. So for example, they go from the keyword Google AdWords analysis to showing my ad for Google AdWords analyze competition. Um, so I suppose that's a stemming or a, a synonym, similar meaning analysis, analyze competition. Uh, but that's exactly what we're trying to figure out. What does Google think is actually a similar search term to what we had specified in our account? And then the final little trick you can do here is you can also look at broad match modified. That is technically not a match type for Google. So we've added it here as a sub match type. So anytime you have a plus in a broad match keyword, it is going to show up as a broad match modified right there. And then it tells you exactly what the search term is for those. Uh, now, what's interesting to note, and you can uh, read more about that in my article on search engine land, but match types have changed a bit. So exact match, for example, no longer respects the word order. You can add, they, they can actually change the words around, um, but they can't put additional words before or after. It has to be all the same words or those words uh, close variant matched to words that have similar meanings, etc. Phrase match, uh, they still maintain the word order, but stuff can be before it or after it. And whatever is inside the phrase match, that can still be close variant matched. So again, they can do synonyms, function words, all of that stuff. Uh, and then one thing a lot of people don't realize, but broad match modified, if you put a plus in front of a, a word, that word technically you're saying should be part of the query, but it's just as susceptible to close variant matching as anything else. Uh, so even the words you put a plus in front, Google may change them, may do a plural, a singular, whatever they think still makes it mean the same and your ads will still show up. So that's kind of an explanation of how match types have evolved. And again, I recommend that you take a look at that script, put it into your account, because then you'll get a really good sense of exactly how match types are working nowadays. And it'll maybe give you some good ideas for new things that you could add as negatives or new keywords to your account. And finally, if you'd rather not deal with a script like this, uh, subscribers of Optimizer, the tool that we sell, we have built a new predefined recipe in the rule engine, and you can just enable that and it'll spit out um, a very similar looking spreadsheet, but it'll do it uh, inside your browser. So it's not gonna be an actual spreadsheet. It's more rendered on the, on the screen, but you can still find out what's happening. And from that point, you can even do automation. So you can say, if we find that Google is matching an exact match keyword to a close variant, and that close variant is more than 25% more expensive, then the underlying keyword automatically take some action, like make it a negative, send me an email, pause it, uh, do something to make sure that that doesn't continue to happen. So thanks for watching. And if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear what uh, everyone's seeing about these new close variants.